Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today I've got a bit of an update video, a bit of a, a mind dump. Um, just got lots of jobs to do and lots of ideas, so I'm just getting them all down on, not on paper, on film. And you can let me know which one of them are good and which ones of them are terrible ideas. I don't know. Everybody else just makes a feeding video when they can't think what to do. So I just make a list of stuff I've not done yet. It's an excuse for me to make a video while I go through and make sure I've got all my little jobs in a row. So, let's start with this tank. Would you believe me if I told you I was trying to grow algae on purpose? So this is the pea puffer tank. Um, it's got a bit of out of control. This room itself, there's a window just here. Um, bright sunlight, even in the depths of winter, bright sunlight, full on most of the day. Terrible algae. So, the plan with this tank is I'm letting it get as bad as before it's dangerous uh, and test various methods of algae removal. So that's the plan for that one. This one over here, we're already testing one of them. You can see it just here. That's the hog hang on glass um, algae scrubber that we a couple of videos back we showed you that one. That's been in about three weeks now and I'm fairly impressed to be honest. Um, if I didn't wipe the glass on this every two or three days, then it would be caked within a week. I've purposefully not touched the glass on this so far, and it's remaining reasonably clear. Um, there is some algae there, but it's nothing compared to what it was. Um, I'm going to let it go for another week before I do a proper um, review and my findings, if you like. But yeah, so far so good. Still horrendously expensive, but seems to be working. What else have we got to do? Um, the puffer tank. So this is the that's the pea puffer tank, and then over here we have the actual Fahaka puffer. But he's asleep. The lights are out there, so we can ignore that for the time being. Discus tank. I've just fed them. Can you see them? So these guys are all doing pretty well. Um, The only things that I've got going on here are this thing. So this is my wave maker, power head, whatever you want to call it. Seems to have just packed up for some reason. Just won't work. Um, it's a Jabo, what is it, the MP4, S, SW4, something 4 anyway. It's only a small one, it's really powerful, it was really good. Um, but we've just got just over the year. Well, it's a bit longer than a year possibly and it's just packed up and given up altogether. Um, so that's a bit of a pain. Um, this was the... That's the fertiliser I was telling you about in my last couple of videos. And just do a little pump. Happy with that. Oh, this is a great new food that I've just found. Um, so this was recommended to me from my discus breeder friend, Tim at Corbin Discus. It's the Dennerley discus soft. I'm kind of using them as an alternative to whenever I would use the Vitalis discus pellets, which are these ones. It's just another alternative for that, but they're way cheaper and they seem to be really good ingredients wise. Um, the majority is the insects and krill. Um, but yeah, just nice and cheap and money saving. It looks like it's not going down very well, but it is. They've been going mad for it. I don't know why they've not left it, possibly because I've been in here bothering them. So, need to do a water change in here, but I'll get on that in a bit. Just want to, to fix that. I need to fix also uh, the auto top off. So, I think I've mentioned it before. Let's turn the light on if we can. So, something down here. Right in that corner, we've actually just got a reservoir there with an auto top off, which fills up into this chamber. Um, and that's packed up as well. So I don't quite know what's going on, but everything seems to be breaking on me. So we've got this to fix. We've got the auto top off to fix. And then that's a water change in that tank's done. So let's have a look downstairs and see what jobs we've got to do in the fish room. Ever vigilant guard dogs. What if I was a burglar? Couldn't care less. So... Uh, 
Um, you might notice a couple of extra tanks up the top there. Um, there actually, one of them is the tank that was over here. I've just moved it up there and bought another one. Um, so I'm going to get a couple more of these tanks. I think I'm going to concentrate these as my guppy tanks. So at the moment I've got guppies just about everywhere doing their thing. Um, but I think I'm going to keep these two as my guppy tanks. I've started separating my favourite males into this tank. Um, what I'm looking for is obviously bright colours, because everyone likes a pretty colour. But if you look at this guy for instance, I forget the name of it, but where their tails meet, quite, I like a thick base of their tail. Um, so I have had some of them and there's still some in here, if I can see any of them. But it basically makes it look like their tails blowing them around rather than them blowing using their tail to get around just because their tail's too thick and they've just not got enough muscle there or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, I've started to pick out the males here with the best looks and the best overall features. So another couple of those tanks will go there and that will be my guppy, guppy row. This for the time being is remaining as the snail breeding factory to feed my puffers. Um, you might think all oh, these tanks look a bit disgusting with all the algae on the side, but that's deliberate. I really don't care about algae as long as it's... I tend to clean the front of a, a tank, but I'll leave the sides quite happily to get caked. Um, because the snails will feed on it, and the shrimp. So there's shrimp in most of these tanks as well. Um, down to the plenty tank, here's a little introduction to a new guy. Uh, I just couldn't resist when I was at the pet shop the other day or the other week. Um, but what a job he's done on the duckweed. It's only been in there a couple of weeks and the duckweed is almost gone. It's almost working too hard. I was going to make a video all about duckweed and how only stupid people like it. Um, but he's, he's pretty much got rid of most of it already. And also, you might be able to see them in there. There's a few fry. Now, I did have a couple of guppies in here temporarily while I was trying to move tanks. I guess one of them gave birth. So, that's fine. I'm going to get a few more plants for this. The goldfish, actually, there's, there's plants for him, but we'll talk about him in another video. So then over here, we've got nothing. A couple of bristlenose plecos in here. Some more guppy fry of a different variety. And some more snails, because... Can't have enough snails. You can see the fry there. Saltwater tank here, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to close down now because it's just not doing it for me. So if anyone in the Sheffield region wants some saltwater fish, let me know. A gap to be filled by another tank as soon as I can find one. Another guppy tank. The bristle nose breeding uh, setup. So that was one of my things that I was going to do. So see. This is one of my larger, it was a kind of a discus grow out tank if you like. I'm going to take all the caves and put them into one of the new ones up here and just have a couple of bristlenose, uh, like a breeding trio in there and distribute the rest throughout my tanks to do their jobs of cleaning them up and looking after them, that sort of thing. Um, and then that will free that tank up for something. And then over here, we've still not got much in here. Um, again, a few more bristlenose. There's a random rainbow, some random crebensis hiding out in there. It's just not, nothing's happening with it. I think this is going to be... I've always wanted Oscars. Now whether I actually get Oscars or not is another question, but I'm thinking larger cichlids. Um, whether it's Oscars, Jaguars, whatever it might be. So something with a bit of personality that can... Whether, even if it's just the fish that has to live on its own, I don't really fancy a flower horn because that's a bit, everyone's done that really. Um, but like I say, I have always fancied Oscars, so who knows? We'll see what becomes available in the next few weeks or months. Uh, that'll go in there. So that will just be a stocking change. I'll probably scape it with some rocks and whatever needs to happen there. Over here, that will be converted back into a freshwater tank. As will all these, we'll add in an extra tank there. Um, Another of the jobs to be done, if you see these lights up here with my unique mounting brackets, it's just duct tape. <laughs> so these are some cheap 
I was going to say LED, but they're not LEDs. There's some cheap, like, kind of under-counter lights. Um, they're not very good. And then they've managed to grow things like Java moss, but who can't grow Java moss? Those I'm going to take and move here. So I can have one light there and one light there, and that will give plenty enough illumination for what's going on in these tanks. So the snails, I just need to be able to see in there, so when I'm collecting the snails, I can get them. Then that LED light, which is a big night crew, can span across all four tanks up here and give them the light for that. So that's one swap round, and then what's going to go in there will be... Where have I put them? Um, I've got three LED spotlights. I'm sure I've shown you them before. I've kind of started wiring them up and now I've lost them. Where have I put them? Anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. So there's going to be one spotlight in each section under here, uh, all connected to one socket. That'll give plenty of illumination for down here as well. I'll probably do the same for down here and move this light unit, which is a pair of T8s. Not that you'll be able to see much of that. Uh, and do the same spotlight arrangement up here and move the T8 over to here because again this is just a although it is a it claims to be a full spectrum LED it's not it's just a bit rubbish um, and then I can get some better bulbs to help with the plants growing because thanks to all the comments from the last video about fertilizer I'm fully aware that growing plants and healthy plants fertilizer is just one part of it you need to consider the light and the, all the other nutrients you're getting and as well as co2 um what else can i tell you about this this is the hang on back filter that i reviewed a few weeks ago still working like a charm uh, couldn't be happy with it so that leaves me with the decision points because if i move all my guppies up here that's going to give me one, two, three, potentially four free tanks. If I move the bristlenose plecos out of here, that gives me five. So I can effectively have four smaller tanks and one larger tank and what to put in them. Oh, and the other thing I was thinking of was putting some clown loaches in with the discus. Um, because I've been, I've been swithering between quarries and loaches, I'm just not sure. I know they get massive eventually, so that's maybe putting me off. Hmm. So I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Indecisive as always. So I just don't know. Indecisive as always. What would you do? Um, I need some suggestions. I need to also so, to source some fish. So I know that I want to keep the bigger tank free for some kind of big cichlid. Um, whether it is Oscars or something else, I don't know. I know I want to get a group of quarries going in one of these tanks anyway, um, just to tick them off my list. I have bred quarries before, but not very well, and more through luck than judgment, so I want to have another bash at that. So that leaves me one, two, three, four, potentially four more tanks to fill with something else. Um, rainbow fish, I'm really keen on rainbow fish, but I don't think these tanks are long enough to to sustain that I might uh, put some rainbow fish in here because uh, pardon me so when the goldfish goes in here that's pretty much nothing left in there except some shrimp and some plants and I do like fish swimming around with the plants that still leaves me a couple of tanks with no ideas what to put in them so hmm who knows who knows um so I guess that's about it. I was really just wanting some advice and then I can look back in this video and make sure I've ticked off all the jobs that I'm meant to be doing myself. Um, if you can think of any great ideas or if there's anything you'd like to see in here, let me know in the comments. We'll see if I can make it happen. Um, but as always, click that subscribe button. Oh, how could I not have mentioned it? We just passed 5,000 subscribers. Uh, massive thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far. Um, and hello if you're brand new as well. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Um, it was lovely to get over that line. It felt like watching a boiling kettle. No, that's not the analogy. It's a bit like watching a pot boil and it wasn't quite getting there. Um, but we got there in the end, so thank you very much to everyone that's contributed. And hello if you're brand new as well. Um, but yes, very pleased. So onwards and upwards, on to 10,000 now. 
Uh, thanks to everyone who's given me some congratulatory comments, that's been great. But yes, for this video, we're done. Let me know in the comments anything that you're interested in. What would you like to see me try out? What have you tried in the past and had problems with? We'll see if we can crack it together, maybe. Um, but as always, click that subscribe button. Give me a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.